Hello everyone, good morning. So today uh, I'm wearing my white coat and just the top of my scrubs because we are taking our class photos for the yearbook because apparently that's a thing in dental school. I didn't even know that. We have the yearbook and we're gonna be taking headshots for everyone in the class. So we just had a new class that we're starting at this block called evidence-based dentistry. You know, topics, materials, uh, different studies about what procedures work and don't. We had that today. Now I have a little bit of a break, so I'm gonna go take my headshot. And then we have our preclinical operative dentistry lecture where we're gonna learn what we're doing in preclinic this week. Also, it is so beautiful outside today, but I know it's not gonna last because tonight it's gonna be back to like 20 degree weather. But right now it's really nice, so I'm gonna stay outside a little bit and enjoy it. Look at Michelle, so professional. Do you want to be in the vlog now? Yeah, do you want to be in the vlog? Yeah. Yeah, you guys can be in the vlog. Oh my god, this is the vlog? Yes. Hi. Hey, squad. You guys look so cute. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, it's really tiny, so it's super easy to do. Okay, so I came to school and everybody was eating, and we have 30 minutes before our class, so I was like, you know what? Let me just run out and get some lunch. Uh, because I don't know if any of you are like me, but I literally cannot focus if I'm hungry so One of my classmates was eating Chipotle and I haven't had Chipotle in a really long time, so Oh my god, I love Chipotle Chipotle is my life. By the way, yes, I look like I'm wearing a completely different outfit because I changed into a long sleeve and my jacket because even though it's sunny out and it's really nice, it's actually pretty cold. And um, we only had to wear our scrubs and the white coat for the photo op, which I just had. So now I can just be back in my comfy stuff and not have to worry about wrinkle in my white coat because that was a concern this morning. I was sitting there like on my way to school and thinking, oh my God, if it's gonna be wrinkly, the photo's gonna look terrible and then it's gonna be in a yearbook. And you know, I don't know, that's just me, my OCD self. was so good whenever i get out of a bar class i always have the hardest time going down those steps but that just means that the workout kicked my butt and i'm gonna be feeling it tomorrow but i'm glad that i did it okay guys i was just about to head to bed but i got a very very exciting delivery that i wanted to unbox on camera for you guys as a way to kind of finish off the vlog so this is something that i've been waiting for for a little while and that is going to be such a game changer when it comes to preclinic. Um, and if you guys noticed when I was recording the vlogs from preclinic, you know, there's been something missing from my eyes that many dental students have, and that is loops. Let me tell you, in terms of you know old school versus new school dentists, a lot of people, including my dad, who is a dentist from Uzbekistan, he 
is one of the people who thinks that like if you start working with loops then you're going to get used to working in loops and then you're not going to be able to work without them and although i can see where he might be right about that i really want to preserve my ergonomics and i want to save my back from years of back pain and therapy which a lot of dentists do go through because our job does require us to get into small crevices and be able to see things that we won't be able to see with direct vision and so i think that having loops is really a big game changer because a lot of my classmates who started drilling with their loops right away had much better ergonomics they had a much easier time maintaining the correct posture while they were doing their preps and it was also easier for them to ensure the quality of their preps without having to take out the typodont from the mannequin and taking a look at it you know at tabletop whereas for me that was the only way that i could tell my floors were even my walls were straight so i think that loops are really important and that's why most dental schools will require you to have some sort of loops and will recommend them that's the reason why i decided to get them so without further ado let's get into the unboxing so in terms of the brand i spent a lot of time kind of looking into the different loop types and i also talked to current dentists who use loops for a lot of feedback and what a lot of people told me is that most students would um, back in the day start out with um, just basic Galileans and then would switch to higher magnification um, and some sort of prism uh, loop. And so I was thinking to myself, why would I, you know, buy loops that I'm going to just use in dental school and then right when I'm out of school, I'm going to want something that is higher magnification. And so what I decided to do was just go directly for the prismatics in terms of the customer service and in terms of warranty and things like that. The brand that I decided to go with was uh, Q Optics and this is not sponsored, although I wish it was Q Optics. If you want to talk, let's talk. Uh, my, emails, <laughs> my email is somewhere in my profile so i went with q optics so they come in this uh, little case it has my name on it which i would hope so because i spent enough money on these but so as i said i went with the prismatic um oh no wait no i'm so confused so <laughs> i don't know if i got the right loops <laughs> I, okay, so I'm super, super confused. So I, these look like kind of like the model that I picked out, but the thing is I ordered the frames in a different color. And then I also got a light, which I did not purchase. And I don't, or I don't think I purchased. So I'm very, very confused. What's happening here? Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So I guess let's try these on because initially I was considering this color and then I decided to go with like more of a, like a cherry red because I just thought that they were a lot cuter. Let's try these. Okay. So the nose piece looks like it was the one that I picked out. So let's just see if these were made to my measurements. Okay, I definitely think I got somebody else's loops because when I'm looking at these, the pupillary distance is way too wide because when I'm looking, all I'm seeing is the edge of the lenses and I'm not actually seeing the field of vision that I'm supposed to have. Something went wrong here and I'm gonna be reaching out to my rep, but I guess that's the reality of it. I don't know, I don't know what happened there. I guess I will uh, keep you guys <laughs> updated because some, something something went wrong here i don't know i'm like i'm trying to figure out whether or not these are the ones that were because obviously so look if because i changed my mind in the middle of the consultation after the um rep had already written down the color for me but then i saw him make the change of the color that's what i'm really confused about because the thing is they do a lot of these different kind of measurements when you order loops in order to get all of your like preferences correct so i'm not sure yeah, I definitely don't think that these are mine. I think that they might have switched my order with uh, somebody else, <sighs> which is going to be a real bummer. Not only do I have to keep them this low in order to even see anything, but I am not able to focus. I'm seeing everything in like double vision. Yeah, I don't think, I don't know, something, something went wrong. All right, well, I guess that's how I will finish off the vlog. 
I'm very sad, as you guys can see. And uh, hopefully I can get this resolved soon because I've been waiting for these for about a month now. So hopefully I get this resolved soon. Yeah, so anyway, thank you guys all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one and I have some exciting giveaways coming your way. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.